Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Air Hauler 2 with Mimi Heard 37. So, it's time to fly this weekend, and I've actually got several jobs I'm hoping to do. Some of these are a little heavy, though, so it's going to present a bit of a problem. But in this episode, we're going to go from our base at KHTS down to K20. Uh, that's down in Hazard, Kentucky. Um, we can do that in one flight. Then what I'll probably do is uh, position myself over here to KGDY, over here in Grundy. And then uh, we'll take that over to KJKL in the next episode. Then, because I wanted to do this flight, but man, this flight is over uh, this animal feed down here to KJKL. That's like 979 pounds. I can't actually do that uh, in one flight, so it might take two if I can do that today, maybe. Then we got this flight over here, this I-25. So yeah, that pays a ton of money too. It's only 75 miles from the base, but it's it's so heavy. Uh, that would take two flights, and we're gonna be over at KJKL, so I don't know. Then I'd have to like come back to hunting. I don't know. It's just some of these are so heavy, you know. And we just want to get the see. That's 945 pounds. All of a sudden, these are getting heavier and heavier and heavier, and it's just like, I haven't even messed with the options or anything, because you can control that, but I didn't want to mess with it too much. Uh, let me show you right here. Like, job volume. Uh, I thought we had size right there. Actually, maybe that's why. If we move that back down to the middle, that's probably better right there. It's just, because we don't care about money, you know, usually the heavier they are, the more you get paid. But, um, so I'll put that at the middle, actually. I didn't realize that was so far over. So next time it creates some more jobs, uh, hopefully it won't be so daggone heavy, because creating a bit of a problem, we're getting close, um, to getting up to our, our reputation up to 60 like we want it, but, uh, they're so heavy it makes it a little harder. But yeah, this is, uh, it doesn't pay a ton, but it, look, it only weighs like 333 pounds. Um, I'm pretty sure that Hazard will not have anything to do with com uh, commodities. It's a smaller place. Yeah, commodities, zero, no missions. There's actually a mission over here at Huntington, but it didn't pay much, and I thought it looked kind of hard last time I was looking at it. Well, now it doesn't even say there's a mission. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, feed nothing. <laughs> Supply five, fine China, uh, pay 431 Max, max of berry, so you need it there, but it doesn't pay any. Or well, he's paying four thirty one, I guess, per pound, up to two hundred thirty four. Where do you get fine china? At? I have no idea. I wish there was like a place where you could like see where where something like that would be, so I could go and fly to it. Because four hundred thirty one dollars a pound is quite a lot, but yeah, I don't know how to know where to find it. All right, but anyway, we're gonna take our three hundred thirty three pounds, is about sixty eight miles. Let's go ahead and accept this job. Take some futon down. We're going to fly now. Alright, so total fuel. It says 7.8 US gallons, uh, 68. I'm going to make it so that there's at least 100. Estimated range, I should say. 75. So that's actually probably pretty good right there. I'll put in just a little bit. Actually, I'll put it right here at 77. I want to put a little bit more. I'll put it up to 10 gallons. I like to be even on there. Makes it easier to set the fuel in the A to A. Uh, so 96 uh, miles, that's pretty good. Alright, so let's switch this over to VFR. We're flying southwest, so we'll go 6500. Change this time right here, 6, we'll put it to uh, 1.28 p.m. And let's go ahead and meet on over at the plane. All right, everybody. Here we are at our plane. Pretty good weather out there. Some scattered clouds or anything. Not too bad. Looks pretty much like it is today, actually. All right, let's get this thing down to hazard. So we're going to open up our throttle about a quarter of an inch. I usually go a little bit more. The mixture is an idle cutoff. Prop area is clear. Master switch. Let me get rid of this yoke real quick. Master switch comes on. Go ahead and turn on our beacon. We're going to try and not prime this thing. I think it was started, so let's go for it. There it is. Put that all the way forward. We'll pull it out to about 40. Uh, let's put it to 50. Because we end up moving it to 50 anyway here in a second. 
All right. So we're all started up. Let's go ahead and look at our oil pressure. Oil pressure is just in the green. Navigation lights. Turn those on. Let's check our electrical system. Go ahead and turn the master switch off. Taxi and landing lights, you come on. Engine RPM goes to idle. All right, let's go ahead and turn the master switch on. Well, we're not getting the voltage warning. I think, maybe if I, I don't know. That shouldn't, oh, well, there, see, when I move the mixer down, now we are getting the voltage warning. All right, let me put this back up to 50, though, because we're going to up the RPMs here in a second. See, then it went off when we get it to 50. Let's get this to about 1,500. See, the ammeter did go up. All right, the voltage warning of the industrial panel went off. The amp ammeter did go up. All right, so we'll bring this back down, and we'll turn off the taxi and landing lights. By the way, I forgot. Try to put it in before I start up. There we go. This gets a little loud. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the pitot heat on as well. I'm gonna increase the throttle just a little bit. Even like smasher switch comes on. We've got our radios on. Just stand by. That up right there. All right, flaps are retracted. Let's go ahead and hit up ATC. Get some clearance out of here. Huntington, Laris Delivery, Cessna, November 7274, Hotel, IFR to Kilo 20, ready to copy. Set the November altimeter there. 274, Hotel, clear to Kilo 20, airport, that's miles. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 6,500. Departure frequency is 1, 3, 2, Get the yoke back. We gotta get our runway here in a second. Cessna, November seven two seven four hotel. Come on. By the way, we'll go ahead and set this to sixty five hundred. Runway heading. Climb and maintain six thousand five hundred. Departure on one three two point nine or five. Squawk seven six one. We go sixty five hundred. Cessna seven four hotel. Feedback is correct. Contact ground on one two one point. By the way, we are doing nav flying. I forgot to show the thing. Right, request our taxi. We're gonna go into ECB, by the way, which is 110.4. Alright, um, acknowledge the taxi clearance. We're going to runway 30. So we're taking off to our left. So that's 299 at 299. Cancel our IFR. I forgot to set the fuel. That's four gallons. Needs to be six in each. So I'll change that in just a second. Alright, so let's go over here. So we need to switch this out. Um, put that to six gallons. That needs to be six gallons as well. Which is 333 pounds, if I recall. So that's what 111 each. Can you type it in? No. Oh crap. Ah oh, crap. There we go. <laughs> Type that to 111. Actually, I think it was a little moss. It might go a little quicker. I believe it was 333. I forgot to write that down. 111, 111, 111. Alright, that'll work. Parking brake coming off. Turn my taxi light on. Like I said, we're going to ECB, which is 111, or sorry, 110.4. That's on to AZQ. AZQ is actually the VOR at the airport. It's 111.2. We're landing on runway 14. I forgot to show all that stuff. Altitude of the airport is like 1,250 feet. I don't know why it's in Kentucky. Been by there many a times. I don't I've never seen the airport or anything. It's just I think there's like one long runway. It does have happy lights on each side. And then 
at the end of one runway, they did have a, a shorter runway. It's a diagonal runway. I figured we'll go into the, uh, uh, the to the longer runway. Let me switch over to the tower here. Get our permission in just a second. All right, we'll stop right here. Ask for permission. I think we're basically going up to the south. Huntington Tower, Cessna, November 7274. Oh, Ready at runway 30, south departure. Cessna, November 7274, hotel clear for takeoff. Right, runway 30, south departure. Approved. All right, acknowledge clear that. Clear takeoff, runway 30, Cessna, 74, hotel. All right, the parking brake is set. Wait, is it actually set? No. All right, so now park break set. Get that off. All right, Kaminoor's flight controls free and correct. Let's see down here, I can see our rudder pedals. Everything is good. Get rid of that yoke for a second. All right, so flight instruments, everything is checked. Everything is set. Well, we actually need to put this in VFR. I'll go ahead and turn that on. All right, fuel quantity check. It should be six gallons. We just changed it, so it should be good. Six gallons in each mixture goes to full rich. Fuel selector valve is in both. All right, come down here for our throttle to 1800 RPM. All right, let's go ahead and check the mags. Left, that's good. Ah, damn it. I, I don't know why I have to do that. Let me put this back in the roof. So it's kind, of, kind of tricky for me for some reason. Right, that's good. Put that back in both. Vacuum gauge is just in the green. Ammeter looks good. Nunciator panel. No warning is up for our low fuel. That's understandable. Auto goes back to idle. Alright. Um, put just a little bit more into it. Strobe lights. Go ahead and turn those on. Radios and avionics. Everything is set. Our transponders on. Go ahead and turn on the landing lights as well. Nav and GPS. We're in nav, which is what I want. Elevator trim. Is set for takeoff. Go ahead and set the flaps to ten. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. Parking brake is coming off. We'll just check just to make sure there's no one coming. Alright, we are good. One more throttle here. Crawler 2 sees us. It's just now seeing taxi and take off. Looks like it didn't uh, pick up our taxi over towards the runway. Maybe I didn't get going fast enough or something. Alright, lined up. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. Whoa, plane going left. There's 60 knots. Let's go ahead and get on up. Go ahead and retract the flaps. We're pretty light. It wasn't going to take much for it to, for us to get up and out of here. All right, Air Hauler 2 has got us. All right, so we can head down to the south here. We'll do that in just a second. I'm trying to get her trimmed out. I've actually trimmed her down a little too much. Pull her back. There we go. That's a little better. Let's go ahead and go down to the south. Like I said, ECB. Too much. There we go. We got it on the radio here. All 
right, there's ECB. Let me go ahead and turn the autopilot on. And head over to navigation. Vertical speed. I'll set this down to 700. Go ahead and arm it for the altitude of 6,500. Put that what a heading of what? Is that 232? Three, three. Let me adjust this two three three. Ah, come on, plane. I don't know why, but when you sit on nav and you move it just one one notch, it kind of it goes so much. I don't understand why. We're pretty heavy or light. I mean, so I'm gonna increase our uh, climb here. All right now we're right, pretty much right at it. It's two three three. All right, that looks good. Bring this out here and resize it. Never mess with that since we weren't going to use it. Alright, messages are off. I'll clear that. Hunt to ECB. It's pretty close. Cessna 7, Port Hotel. You are leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. Alright, clear that. Alright, ECB, it isn't too far away. Actually, you can use that when you're coming into Huntington. And it'll be to AZQ, which is a 111.2. This down here. And then that'll be a, on a heading of about 203. It's actually pointing straight at it on that, too. It's got yeah, it's not got it picked up. It'll be around the heading of 203. Alright, well, we need to actually over 3,000 feet, so let's go ahead and trim the or lean this up, put it at 80. Going on up to 6,500 feet. Alright, uh, I'll go ahead and speed it up. Uh, let me see, you might actually be able to see. Uh, I don't know if they show that or not. You see beyond here. You see it's a little off the path to the right, but that's alright. Since we're doing nav flying. And, uh, well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and speed her on up. We'll be back in just a second.
All right, everybody, slowing her down here. We're about 22 miles out from the airport. We're going to select our approach. I looked at this earlier. We are going to Zorpo. We're going to be at 4,000 feet, by the way, when we get to Zorpo. Thanks for that. We'll load that up. It'll be Zorpo at 4,000. Let go at 143. We're not going to do the holding pattern. And then down to the runway. We'll be at 3,000 feet at let go. All right, so 22 out from there. I'm gonna switch this over to GPS. So we'll go over to Zorpo. Come on, plane. Yeah, she's gonna go right over to the line. That's why she's doing that. And it says, well, we're 21 uh, miles out, so we don't need to descend just yet. Let's go ahead and speed her up now that she's on it. It is going to Zorpo, right? Now it says K20. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did I not? Oh, wait, you gotta activate it. Yeah, that's the problem. 19 miles up. I didn't activate it, I just loaded it. Slower down when you're gonna turn everything, mate. It's, it's one thing I don't like about the plane that you go much faster. Sometimes you can do it 2x, but when you start changing routes and everything, uh, turn in. If you do it 4x in this plane, it just starts wobbling and it'll end up falling out of the sky on you. you can bring this back up since we are using GPS navigation. 19 miles out. Now that we're going straight ahead, let's go ahead and put that to 4x. I think it's about 249. Actually, 247 now. Tower, four, one, four, one, yeah, six, eight, got eight, people four, far away. Let's go to the nearest airport. Four, this is K20. Tune into the traffic. Runway for landing, I'm not going to do that just yet. We're heading over to Zorpo. So I'll hold off on that for a second. Can we have 4X? I can't even remember yet. 16 there, you can see that's where we're coming back. We're gonna land on runway 14. I'm just, I'm not gonna do the holding pattern though. So we're gonna have to fly ourselves over to let go, see what happens. 15 miles out. Let's go on down to 4,000. Set that. Go to vertical speed. It's at 400 feet a minute for right now. Another airport. I don't know what that is. Not sure what area that is. I think Hazard, where we're going, is before where you get to like uh, Pikeville and everything. I'm not sure what 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 that is exactly. So it looks like that's I believe is our runway right there. There, like I said, there's a VOR there. It, AirNav says that there's a localizer there as well, but I didn't see anything about that in a flight simulator or anything about a localizer being there. 10 miles out, got about 1,200 feet to go. Let's go ahead and enrich the mixture a little bit. Maybe 60. 1,000 feet to go. 8 miles out. Plenty of fuel. Yeah, we only really use like four gallons. Yeah. Let's see, Zorpo wants to go into a holding pattern. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna turn left. We use our uh, use our heading and we'll go straight over to Lekko, uh, which is down to three thousand, and that'll be a heading of one four five, which is the runway heading as well. How come one eleven point two zero? That one, I guess. You gotta switch it over to nav, and that one will come alive, but nav 2 automatically comes alive or something? That's kind of odd to me. Alright, we're at 4,000. I'm gonna go ahead and enrich this some more. Put it at 80. When that let go, will be at 3,000. I'll try to remember, I'll put that to. Uh, uh, full rich. So we are at runway 14. 
full stop landing. I won't call it just yet. When we start to turn to let go, I'll go ahead and call it. Okay, so that should be a heading of 145. Oh, they're just speeding up. Slower down. Switch this over to heading because I don't want her to turn over to the right to go to the go around with the holding pattern. That's our position. It's going down to 3,000. So short of a vertical speed. Oh, actually, it's actually 13 miles away, so we'll just send kind of slow. Let go. I don't know. I, I don't remember. I don't know if that's going to be us. Because let go. If that's 13 miles, that's going to be even more than 13. So that's going to be over 26. 30 miles away. I don't know if that would be us or not. I don't see any other airport. Well, we've got this one off to the right. I thought we saw something like right ahead of us. So I wish you could go into the flight plan and move that up, but uh, can't. Get back over towards the line and come over to the right. So maybe that was that couldn't be us though. Well, now that's coming alive. That's odd. Yes, that can't be us. I don't know. I don't see any airport listed. Wait, is that us? This is because that kind of looks like the. The airport I saw, it's got a runway right here and then one at the end, like that. I mean, I'm thinking that's us. Because now it's very close. That's less than 10 miles away. That's got to be us. I need to get down. I need to get over to the right a little bit. Go ahead and put full rich. Bring down the power. Yeah, because I was thinking let go. Man, that's got to be like way far away. Oh, it's it. It's for the holding pattern. The distance is to the holding pattern. That's why. I'm an idiot. So let me get down here. We'll come back over to the right. Glad I looked at the picture earlier because I know that that's uh, whoop. 1,250. Little speed, start the sun and more again. Yeah, that's why I was. That's it was looking for the pattern, the uh, holding pattern, the distance over there. We'll get over to the right more. Send a little bit quicker. So that's the smaller run right here, here, and we got to come back over to the buildings here. We'll be getting close to that daggone uh, glide slope. I'm surprised we haven't caught up to that glide slope just yet. Can't be that far off. Now we're off to the right too much. Thousand feet above. Yeah, I'm surprised that it says we're still way too high. I'm not way too high necessarily. Make sure this is at normal speed. It is. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the autopilot. Cut the power a little more. Bring it down a little bit more. It doesn't. Yeah, there are. I was gonna say, man. Let's 
so it couldn't be that high. That drag will help bring our speed down a little bit. Pipe's going to 20. Kilo 2 zero traffic. Cessna November 7274 Hotel is on final runway 14 to land. Alright, full flaps. I'm surprised we're still way too high. But of course, the flaps don't help. I think maybe we should take her a little bit longer. It's not trying to get down too quick. Banging her around. Off to the left. Not a bad landing, actually. It was off to the left. Other than that, it wasn't that bad. Get her over to the line. We came way. We were off to the left, and we came across the, to the right. All right, let's go over here. I'm gonna turn around. Back over to those buildings. Go ahead and track the flaps. Spin her around, come on, go. There we go. Go ahead and stop the recording. So a crappy thing about coming in that way, we're actually flying away from the buildings. That's alright. down here unload this thing and see how much money we made although I really don't care about the money is to me it's all about that reputation I think coming into it we were something like 13 something 13 completed jobs away as long as we get 100% on each of them so take one away we really that's what we really need bring this up. We're not quite clear of the runway just yet. So I'm not sure. I think are we crossing a runway? There's a building over here to the left that I would like to go to, but not sure if we have to go across that runway or what. I think we can turn left just before actually. Should be laying it out the mixture as well since we're down here. But well, get here in just a second. All right, clear of the runway. Stop it right here. Let that take that off. Transponder off, with a standby. Um, landing lights and the strokes will go off. Flaps are retracted, everything looks good there. Let's go ahead and lean her out to about 50 or so. I'll put it at 60. Got a parking spot off to our left. We'll go over there. Not a bad little airport. I just don't like how the buildings are all at the end. Although, I guess if you're flying from the other end, it's not so bad. Well, bigger airport than I thought. I mean, Hazard, Kentucky, it's a small area. It's actually got two runways. I'm kind of surprised by that. There's actually, it says that there's like 30 some aircraft at this airport. 32, I think. Which is more than I would have thought. Got parking brake can come off. Taxi light PO heat can also come off. Alright, let me grab the procedures, although it's pretty easy. We pretty much will know it. Parking brake is set. Electrical equipment comes off. So all this goes off. Alright, the avionics master switch can come off. Cut the fuel. 
if everything's off, let's go over to Air Hauler 2. I always want to say Air Hauler, but I should call it Air Hauler 2. Alright. Let's unload this cargo. Nice. Finish the flight monitoring. Alright. Took off at 1.39 p.m. Land at 2.41. It was actually an hour and two minutes. Take off fuel 68. Land with 46. We had only used like a third of our fuel. Max altitude 6,517 feet. Max pitch negative 10. Max roll 20. Max speed 109 knots. Minimum G's 0 0.7. Minimum G's exceeded 0. Max G's 1.55. Max G's exceeded 0. Stall false. Overspeed false. Landing description was true or smooth. Landing gear down true, landing surface asphalt, no damage to the surface of the runway, no damage to the plane. Landing speed came down 94.6 knots or feet a minute, which is pretty good. Landing speed 40.0. So here we got the stall warning right as we touched down, which is good. Landing rolled negative 0, 0.0. Landing heading 152. Landing wind speed 8. Landing wind direction 263. Right, so cancel okay, so out of that. So look at our info here. It's, I think we just paid, by the way. It's like the 20th. So I think we paid um, all of our stuff. I think yes, I think it's the 28th that we pay. So we're up to 36. We need 4. So yeah, we're 12 away. Come on, 12. We just need 12. Reputation log. Cargo reputation. We got our full 1. Financials. Yeah, down to 76. We must have just paid. Um, actually, we can look at the ledger. Yeah, 13,945 on the 28th. Uh, cost us 12 bucks for the fuel, 10 to land, but we brought in 2,164, so not bad. But like I say, it's not about the money so much for us. I mean, we want money, obviously, because when we go up, we got to hire someone, buy a new plane, hopefully, and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, reputation is what's biggest for us. I didn't see this. And I see it's going. No, that's not the one, is it? Yeah, because that's going north, so I don't want anything with that. Oh, that's going way up there. Yeah, so uh, what I'll, I think what I'll do, I'll position over here to KGDY. What did I say that was? Grundy. Is that Grundy, is it Tennessee? Can't tell. And then we'll fly over here. Yeah, that'll probably be the next episode. It doesn't bring in a whole lot of money, what is it? But like I say, it's reputation that is what we're after. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all did enjoy it. I'll catch you guys on the next flight.